On the podcast today, we're going to be talking about the three benefits of working with a listing agent. We're going to talk about those benefits, we're talking about how to find a listing agent, and we're going to talk about well, how much does a listing agent cost you. Let's dive right in to the three benefits of working with a listing agent. The first benefit is that you have a personal advocate. That listing agent is working for you. They're advocating for you getting the most money, selling your home as quickly as possible with the least amount of trouble on your part. So a personal advocate is somebody who's advocating for your best interest. A listing agent who is really looking out for you is not making their paycheck a priority. This is our livelihood. It's how I pay my bills is by helping people sell homes or buy homes and getting a professional services fee from my work. Just like you would pay a professional services fee to a doctor for the work that they do or to a landscaper for the mulch that they put out. There's all kinds of things that you're paying for that service or that product and that's what a listing agent does. They provide a service for you to get your home sold and it is a paycheck. But hopefully you are working with a listing agent or find one who is not just looking for a paycheck. Yes, they're going to get paid, but their priority is serving you and making sure that you're taken care of and getting your home sold to move on with whatever dreams or plans that you have. This listing agent as your personal advocate also represents you. They're looking out for your best interest. They're going to handle any issues that come up in the process of getting your home on the market and sold and getting you to where you're going next. In a future episode, we're going to be talking about the difference between a real estate agent and a realtor. Every realtor is a real estate agent, but not every real estate agent is a realtor. We'll talk about those differences and some benefits that you have by a person who's chosen to be a realtor and the code of ethics that they align themselves with. But that's for another topic in the future. So this personal advocate, is advocating for your best interest. A listing agent as your personal advocate is also going to be helping set expectations. Your expectations and their expectations, the listing agents in this whole process, are going to explain the whole process to you about getting your home prepared, getting it priced, promoting it, what's going to happen when it's on the market, when you get an offer. Hey, and by the way, our next episode, we're going to be talking about getting an offer accepted and beyond. Make sure you tune in for the next episode to find out when you had it on the market, somebody he wants to buy the house, they make an offer, then what? We'll talk about that next episode. But that agent, as your personal advocate, is going to explain to you that process and they're going to establish a communication plan. Real estate agents are notoriously known for being bad at communicating. Part of that is, I know when I am not on my game with communication, it's because I don't really have anything to say. If it's a house that's been on the market for a while, nobody has seen it in the past week, you as the seller know nobody has seen it in the past week. I'm trying to do a better job of making sure, and you need a listing agent who does that, of telling you how many people have seen this listing online, how many people have inquired about it, conversations that you've had. So there should be a reason that I'm communicating with my sellers every single week, and I'm putting steps in place to make that happen. You need a real estate agent who's going to have a communication plan because that's the biggest mark against real estate agents is, well, my agent never tells me anything. I never hear from my agent, either buyers or sellers. So hopefully you're going to have a real estate agent or one that's moving in that direction to establish that communication plan so that you are informed all, all along the way of what's happening with getting your home sold. Another aspect of having this personal advocate from a listing agent for you is that they help you navigate the paperwork quickly and efficiently. A listing agent needs to be able to provide assistance in completing whatever paperwork is necessary for you, explaining all that stuff to you so that you're aware of all of the paperwork that goes into it, the listing agreement, the offer to purchase, the inspection process, the appraisal, buyer who's pre-approved, all that stuff that's involved, you have that real estate agent, that listing agent who understands that and they know the rules. We've been through training. We have to have so many hours of training to get a license. We have to have hours of training in different states. It's different things. In the two states that I'm licensed in, I have to have so many hours of training every two years just to keep my license. Now, I'm in a lot of training because I like to learn. So I'm always well over what's needed for that. And I don't go to get that training just so I can check box that I've got my continuing education and I can keep my license. I want to be better prepared and better equipped to serve you and to serve other sellers and buyers in getting their home sold or getting their homes purchased. So I take advantage of all the training I can if I'm available during that time that it's offered. That agent as your personal advocate is going to be navigating this process for you. They're also going to be negotiating 
negotiating on your behalf. Having a listing agent means that you're not sitting down at a table with a buyer and going back and forth to figure that out. The listing agent's going to come to you and say, okay, here's this offer. Here's how we can respond. What would you like to do? And if you want to make a change to it, make a counter offer, that listing agent is going to go back to that buyer's agent or that buyer and say, okay, here's what the seller's willing to do. A listing agent does it on your behalf so that you don't have to do those things. That listing agent is also part of that negotiating the deal is they're going to coordinate all the details. Buyer's probably going to want an inspection. A lender for that buyer is probably going to want an appraisal. Your listing agent handles getting all that stuff scheduled for you, whether you live in the house or you've already moved out and it's vacant. They're going to handle that for you. And one other aspect of having this personal advocate is the network. Agents have a network of real estate professionals who can help close that sale quickly and they can communicate to those. So they utilize those other agents to help bring in buyers to get those homes sold. And hopefully that listing agent also has a network of buyers who are looking for homes and maybe just maybe your home fits that. So having a listing agent work for you and one of those benefits is they're your personal advocate in helping you get your home sold. 